Uh huh. No homo. I said he's so sweet. I wanna lick the rapper. So I let him lick the rapper. Hey what is up guys Avik here back with another video and it's been a couple of days or a couple of weeks since I've uploaded a video to YouTube. You know I was busy in my new semester and uh, couldn't upload any kind of videos but here's the one which I edited which was to be uploaded pretty long back but now still it's not too late to be you know cursing myself but still it's here. It's the Vivo G7 DAS 2K1 update for the OnePlus One and you know I went through a ton of steps to do this but there is no other way um, until you go completely stock. So I've done, I've gone completely stock on this and I've come back so you can see that I'm on the update. Uh, I know a couple of you have already completed this update and uh, are using it already. So, but still, you know, it's my kind of uh, doing to upgrade or, uh, or just upgrade your minds on how this ROM works. So this is a pretty, uh, you know, like, good ROM, but basically um, it's going too much further away from stock Android. That's what I can tell you because, uh, you know, they added in a couple of stuff from Microsoft, they added a ton of blower, and I'll explain you that in this video. So first, let's come from the lock screen. And uh, you can see this, the lock screen is pretty simple, it's just the swipe up to get to your home and it's uh, swipe from the left to get to your keypad and it's the same, the camera. And then uh, a couple of secs please. And here we go, you're in the home screen, home screen doesn't change anything but just a, a little bit of changes here. Like if you slide up from here, you used to get Google here but now you're able to choose stuff so now you're you can complete task using Google now or you can just use Cortana I'll show you how Cortana works hey Cortana like if you tap this and it says this is not working in your uh, you know country and it doesn't recognize all that good as a Google now but still it works it still works that's what I'm happy about so uh, that's Cortana all about so you, you can you know choose Cortana oh man sorry for the outside noise some some weird noises outside so please sorry for that and you know you can really use Cortana instead of Google now well I'm really a fan of Google now so I'm gonna set that to Google now you can use it as always you know you kind of uh, have to give your Microsoft account and then put it into Cortana instead just use Google you know Google works a little bit fine so you hit Google always so nothing else has been changed it's just the same just an uh, overall upgrade over the Cyanogen mod the S3JL nothing much just uh, the interface of the camera has changed a bit you know as you can see now a little bit of interface has changed uh, just a bit again panorama to um, whatever um, Nothing much, nothing much has changed as far as I'm concerned, just a little bit of interface change in the camera, that's all. You can still record the 4K video, the epic 4K, but now you can record only up to UHD, there is no DCI, for some reason that's add, and for, you know, it sucks sometimes because um, some people like to record that in the DCI format rather than the UHD. Well, that's their problem, let's leave that aside and uh, let's move on further. It's just an increment over the uh, S3JL, as I told you. This is one step, you know, below the Android uh, 6.0 Marshmallow or the CNN Mark 13, which is unstable still and uh, they don't want to really upgrade the OnePlus One to uh, the CNN Mark 13. Instead, just keep it in uh, the Vivo G70 AS2 uh, K1 instead of just going into the CNN Mark 13 directly. Uh, it's gonna be out somewhere in uh, the February or March probably, so uh, please have to wait for that. Uh, you gotta wait for that because uh, one plus one don't know how they do it there uh, they've already added a ton of blower here um, it 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 does it does depend on how uh, cyanogen just uh, makes their OS really more stable and really um, you know interesting for us 
So that's that for uh, this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any kind of queries or kind of stuff, just leave them in the comments down below. And how to install this? It's pretty simple. You're gonna install the uh, uh, the stock recovery, and uh, it's from the app called Flashify. As you can see here, the Flashify. Let's go into that app. It's available for free in uh, the Play Store if you're rooted. So you gotta be rooted and then hit a zip file you don't get uh, the images and uh, choose a file because I, I have the file uh, and I'll be leaving a direct link in the description box down below you can download that for free uh, from my link down below and anyway, it's, it's again for free it's uh, I don't cost you much it's not at all costing so you're just gonna have to go and flash this zip file where is it so there is a zip file somewhere you're gonna flash that to uh, get to your uh, stock memory. I don't know. I mean, stock recovery. Yep, here it is the stock recovery flash one plus one. So that's the one you're gonna flash, and then you're gonna have to flash the yes 3 jl update again. Uh, I'll, you know, you're gonna have that uh, somewhere. So I'm gonna be leaving an XDA developer link for that ROM too. If you want, you can just download that from there. And um, just that's that, you're gonna hit that and you, you're gonna flash that on uh, to your phone. Then just wipe everything, wipe data, wipe cache, and then you know install that uh, uh, S3JL update, and then it'll update you to this RAM directly from the OTA. So that's that. How, how to uh, how to upgrade this RAM? Uh, you know I didn't show you that manually, but that'll be some other time. So thank you so much for watching this video. And again, I'll see you guys in the next one again pretty soon. I'm going to be up up uploading videos like uh, regularly, on a regular basis. Thank you again. Peace out.